is going on guys, it's Yoji. <laughs> Welcome to a Q&A video, uh, just uh, answering your questions that I asked you to ask me in the last video. So yeah, let's just start out. First question is, what is going on Yoji? So yeah, basically what is going on right now with me is, um, I'm kind of waiting for 3.9 to release, I'm uh, excited for Conquerors of the Atlas, uh, I'm kind of a little bit excited about Metamorph League. Oh, and when this video comes out, I was on the Faded Connections podcast uh, yesterday with uh, Balamage and Catmaster OP. So uh, if you want to check that out, I'll link it down in the video description. And we talked uh, quite a lot, a lot of time uh, about uh, yeah, all the stuff that's coming up in PoE. So that's going to be really cool. And we'll mostly answer this question of what is going on, Yoji? Next question is by Sober667. He has one question. What is going to be my first PoE2 build? And that's a question that at this point is really difficult to answer because we don't really know that much about PoE2 yet. Uh, all I know is that I will be trying uh, one of the new ascendancies, of course, as probably 99.9% .9 of people will. And I'm going to play, uh, play one of the new playstyles, uh, be it one of the melee bow shenanigans or transforming, shape-shifting, something like this. Uh, or maybe one of the b probably bazillion other things that they have already hinted at. Uh, so I will be trying w one of these new things and I think it's been pretty cool. So far the uh, melee bow ascendancy, like the, the tactician kind of one, which can like have like an air AOE error rain happening while going like melee and stuff like that. I always liked the idea of having having kind of a uh, melee plus range playstyle, but in PoE that never really has been viable. But both transforming um, into like a melee form and then back to a range form or spellcaster form maybe, like as a, a, a your normal form, as well as uh, the whole like melee bow type of thing, both enable that. And I think that's really cool that uh, GGG are willing to explore uh, that type of playstyle. Uh, so I always like that kind of like a mix and match of playstyles, which, which is why I always like the idea of a melee summoner that uh, GGG also like introduced recently. Uh, or like a golem mancer spellcaster or something, something like this. Uh, as well as Null's Inclination, for example. Um, or Mjolnir or Cast on Crit. Like a combination of, of two playstyles, be it like melee with spellcasting, bows with, with spellcasting, whatever. I uh, always like that. So I think this is really, really cool that we kind of get the bridge uh, closed from melee to uh, bows, which are like uh, melee to ranged, which wasn't really closed uh, yet in PoE, which I think is a really cool space to explore for them. So I might uh, currently very far in the future this is a very far projection in the future uh, because i mean it's still way more over a year probably still i will be will be playing this because as always if there's a beta i will not be playing that i don't like playing beta i liked playing finished content i prefer that and i never tried any of the poe betas before and i'm not a fan of early access i play finished games because i like to get the full experience as attended by the developers and i'm not like keen into like testing video games unless i'm getting like paid for beta testing which actually has happened once but that's kind of it all right next up we have uh, by netin a pay to win question uh, because uh Every question that get uh, gets asked in these Q&As by my patrons over at patreon.com slash is the OG. You should check that out if you are interested in uh, that type of stuff. Uh, and want to support the, the channel, of course. Um, those guys get pay-to-win treatment for the questions. So this is a pay-to-win channel now. Um, and I will answer all patron questions in every Q&A. Uh, unless it's at some point we'll have 100,000 bazillion patrons uh, asking questions. Then maybe we have to find something else. But currently it's not a problem at all. So yeah, I'm going to ask that question. And Adam asks... Uh, Nana would be happy to hear thoughts on my own work-life gaming balance stuff that uh, Nana is currently struggling with and uh, would like to some advice. And yeah, I'm I'm not really good at this either, as you might have noticed me vanishing from YouTube like some time ago and then coming back. Uh, I'm not I'm not life coach Yoji. I'm not really good at this, but uh, I just try to do all my hobbies and all the stuff that's important to me and kind of like prioritize and yeah that's really it because whenever you kind of don't find time for something in my experience it is you don't prioritize it over the things that you're already doing let's say you say oh i want to work out but i kind of want to meet my friends more so i'm going to do that because if you really want to do something you will find the time that's usually how it is and yeah that's how it is for me as well so normally i have four hobbies um i do video games i do youtube I go to the gym and I play 
like kind of Dungeons and Dragons type tabletop RPGs. That's and usually as a dungeon master, so like the guy who manages the world and the NPCs basically, and gets gets like uh, makes up the story that type of stuff. Um, so that's the four things I really like doing. The problem oh, with this is I usually only had time to do three. Like whenever I do one of them, always falls off. Currently, that's uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons and uh, tabletop RPGs. Currently, not happening in my life at all because two of the uh, members of my group, two of my players, uh, had a baby, and it makes scheduling insanely difficult because they have. For them, it's always like super stressful to get to like a DOD group that's happening elsewhere with a baby, and then with a the baby, of course, there's a lot of distraction happening. Kind of makes the group really, really difficult, so it kind of like faded out. Uh, for now, might come back, but then usually I like kind of mess up one of the other parts. So currently I'm hitting the gym three times a week for roughly one hour and a little bit uh, each time, usually like twice during the week, once at the weekend is usually kind of what I'm doing. So for example, today I'm going to the gym and uh, this week actually I may only manage two times because, but it's kind of like a deload week where I don't train as hard. So uh, yeah, I could kind of like to give my body some time to recover. So that kind of lined up really well with the schedule of like lots of stuff happening this week anyways. And that's kind of like what I try to do whenever I have a lot of stuff uh, happening i kind of like well i know this will be a busy week i kind of like to try try to schedule my deloads into that which is usually like every six to ten twelve weeks maximum i really need like one week where i kind of like don't lift as heavy don't lift as as many like as many times basically as much volume as they say and i just give my body like a week where i only go like twice to the gym instead of three to four times sometimes and uh kind of like take it a little bit slower but still keep keep in the groove of going to the gyms otherwise i kind of feel like there could be a risk of me not going and at the same time i would also um like kind of get get out of the groove and get like really sore again as well if i don't go for like two three weeks or whatever so i don't try to do that and yeah youtube uh, currently is going really well and gaming and youtube for me is kind of like separated as you might have noticed because there are games that i play that i don't make videos on because i'm mostly like 99.9 percent only make videos about path of exile because up until this point, this is the only game that I'm actually passion passionate enough about to make videos about. Does that make sense? I mean, I played The Outer Worlds uh, recently. That was a really fun game. I played a little bit of uh, Dead Cells, which is a really awesome like roguelike game. And uh, yeah, that's I think, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's mainly what I played. It's not really that much else. But yeah, as, as for as for life coaching, which I'm really horrible at, um, I try to not do anything else. I get up in the morning like really early. Uh, Everything's already like prepared. I just have to pack my stuff. I pack my gym bag. I go to the gym after work, so I don't go. Like, if I go, ever go home, I will never go to the gym afterwards because once I sit down, I'm like, oh, that's it. That's the day for me. Um, I don't watch like much TV at all. Maybe like one episode of a Netflix show with my girlfriend, like once a week or something. Um, I have like family time, which is like can't be cut down on. I have a uh, friend's time, can't be cut down on. This is like this the sacred. You don't cut this three times uh, of gym per week at least. Don't cut on this. So the rest is then between my four hobbies, and one usually falls falls out of it. But I can like kind of like rotate it, right? Um, especially like once PUE is kind of like in the downtime, I can go more to the gym. I can go harder in the gym, and then once uh, PUE kind of like starts ramping up again for the next season, which is right now, where I'm doing like a podcast and like make more videos, then. That's where I usually try to like have my uh, now have my deload week have, and then like start building up again. And once like we reach mid league, that's usually when I go really hard in the gym to like end of the league and then go down again. It's like this three month cycle of like going to the gym and PUE works really well as as well as with making content. And the D and D just currently is kind of like f- fell out of that. I try to always get seven to eight hours of sleep. And there's another question here um, that really ties into that. And the question is by Mohu, one of my uh, patrons. Um, do you have plans for going back to more frequent content creation? Uh, you seem very happy when we get the chance to get a grasp of you these days, though. Yeah, I'm really happy with my life currently, and I kind of would like to make more content, as I really enjoy making making YouTube videos. But first of all, like I have a lot of stuff on my plate, right? So as I just said, I also work full-time, um, and I kind of like try to always get seven to eight hours of sleep so i don't really have that much time more um, in, left in the day and especially when stuff gets busy i don't really have that much space in my head <laughs> or like time to get creative and think about like stupid memes and come up with videos because i don't just make guides about builds but i also try to like make some some more interesting and memey and funny stuff and that's also something i want to try this league to get back into 
um, to make get, go a little bit more back to the roots, which might result into a bit fewer videos. But I really want to try to make like more of those like a bit more silly videos, which might result in me more doing like maybe like three, two to three videos a month instead of like one every week, so four videos a month. But I hope the quality will be higher and I think I will enjoy it a lot more and I think I will um, have more fun doing that. But yeah, do I really want to go back to like making more content or maybe even going full time? And my answer to that has to be no at this point because there's like, like two reasons. First of all, if I wanted to go YouTube full time, I would have to make content in a way that I don't really enjoy. I would have to like optimize for viewership, optimize for advertiser friendliness, optimize for um, basically make content not because I enjoy it or because you enjoy. I think you would enjoy it, but because I, what I would think would attract most viewers, I would have to stream a lot more. And as I said many times, while I enjoy occasional streaming, I don't enjoy enjoy regular streaming. So I don't really want to go back to that. If I had like more time to do this, for example, let's say, yeah, the thing is, what do I want to cut? I don't want to cut down on my gym time. I don't want to go going back to being fat Yoji. I want to stay fit Yoji. Fit Yoji is a lot more fun to be. Then I don't won't cut down on family time. No, no I won't cut down on friends time. Um, I don't want to cut down on gaming time. That's another thing. Like I could run this as a discussion channel where I just talk about PUE and don't play it that much. But I enjoy playing the game. I really love the game currently, especially. It's, like, so much fun to play. So I want to play. I want to play. Actually, I want to play more. Like, at the beginning of the league, I always find myself in a spot where I don't want to make videos, spend time making videos, because I want to spend all my time playing more. And I think you could probably relate to that. But once the league hits, you're like, I want to play as much PvE as possible. Oh my god, this is so cool. And you don't really want to do anything else. And video making is anything else so i usually have to really struggle to, to kind of force myself into making videos which when i'm at it i will usually enjoy but getting to that point is not always that easy and yeah so the only thing i could really cut is like D, D is already out as i said and the only thing i could really cut is work but i need the monies and as i said the way i could make the monies back from making content is not really the way i enjoy making content so I really like things as they are right now. I think this seems kind of like seems to be the optimal place that I could reach for this this point. If I ever could get to the state where I could make two to three YouTube videos a month, stream like once a week, and make as much or more money than I'm making right now, I'd be completely fine with that. All right, no problem, no questions asked. I would probably still work like maybe like part time or something because I really enjoy like chemistry work and uh, developing like uh, analytic techniques and stuff like that that I do currently in my job. I really enjoy that, but I probably would like split the time between work and YouTube a bit differently. But the way I would have to make content, the type of content I would probably have to make, and the, the way I have, would have to treat the creative process would suck out the enjoyment out for me, and which was the reason why I quit doing this full-time in the first place. So I kind of decided to uh, not do that. So yeah, that's why I'm at where I'm currently at. But that was a really good question, I, th I feel. And we got a few people asking, uh, for example, Exorune Black Rage uh, asked, how's the workout routine going? As well as the Sable also asks, how's uh, your fitness stuff going? And as I said, it's going really well. Um, I don't think like in this video, it's like usually like, really hard to see. Like, how how jacked is the Yoji? Can can you see? Can you see me like this? Can you see me? I don't. I don't want to make like one of those weird transformation type videos where I show you my almost naked body and go like look fat not fat slightly more muscular than not fat Yoji I don't really want to do that I feel like it's super cringe and I don't really want to go like in the super cringe mode more than I'm already doing usually so um yeah that's kind of like it I it's going really well I used to do like a more strength training focused now I'm kind of like more oriented towards uh, a bit more towards like bodybuilding type training so instead of lifting really heavy weights a few times I'm lifting moderately heavy weights a lot of times because it's like easy on my joints and stuff because I feel like my, my joints and my body apparently are pretty fucked up from like 30 years almost 30 years of zero movement and all gaming which 
apparently is not good for your body. Who would have thought? Well, uh, now I realize that I'm like what what type of fucked up state my body is, which is not really good. Um, but yeah, I lost a lot of weight. Actually, at some point, I lost more weight than I was actually comfortable with. And I have to like kind of climb back, and I'm currently pretty happy where I'm where I'm at, which is like 92 kilos at 193 centimeters, which is about six foot three in freedom units and some some sort of pounds, like 200 pounds ish, something like this. Um, which I think is, is really solid. I was like super lean at some point. Well, I lost like compared to now, I lost like almost like 10 kilos. Only five of which were actually intended, and the other five I lost because I got, like, right, right when I was at the end of my diet, I was like, okay, this is my goal weight, okay, I kind of like how I look, okay, I'm maybe a bit skinny, and then I got sick for, like, over a week, and I, like, lost another five kilos, and I'm like, okay, now you look scary, and then I started, like, working out a lot harder, and eating more, and eating more healthy, and then kind of, like, build, build it back up, but the good, good, the good type of weight, <laughs> so that's pretty cool, um, but yeah, it's going really well. I'm currently I'm focusing on mainly like body building type training, so building building just like size basically, not really caring about how strong I am because I, I also think it would be really funny. Imagine if I'm like a super buff looking dude, but I'm like really weak. That would be really hilarious. Of course, that's not going to happen because when you build muscle, muscle you always also get stronger. But still, would be kind of hilarious. And um, the other thing I'm focusing on is just health. I'm like back pain free for almost a year now, which I'm really happy about. I'm like over half a year since I started shifting the focus of my training. I'm completely shoulder pain free now as well, um, which is really good and which is really stuff that I honestly shouldn't be dealing with in the first place at my age. But yeah, I, I fucked up my body for like 28, 29 years by doing absolutely nothing. And it it shows, but I'm I'm now working out of that and it's, it's going really well, as I said. And... Yeah, I'm, e I'm eating more healthy still, and what else am I doing? Not really that much. Oh, some, some body weight exercises, like doing like pull-ups and like different push-up vari variations, which are a bit tricky, and like kind of like doing some of those like lever things where you can like have to hold your body in weird positions and like support your body weight with like s s tiny muscle groups that really try cry at you and be like, don't do this to me. And I'm like, get stronger, you shit. Kind of like this. That's kind of like what I'm doing. It's really fun. It's really cool, and I'm en enjoying uh, going to the gym. Like, the main reason I'm still going is, like, yeah, I like the benefits, and I don't want to go back to where I was, but I'm also really enjoying just picking up heavy stuff a lot of times. It's kind of, I don't, I, I listen to podcasts or, like, music while I do it, and it's really fun. I enjoy it. So, yeah, that, that's that. I'm, at like, in one of those, like, weird old people gyms at, like, a small rural town where I live. There's, like, one gym here, and it's, like, an old people gym. But they have also like heavy lifting equipment, but it's like me and like maybe like five other people who regularly use it. Most most of the times, just old people chatting and like do, doing some some balance movements or whatever. It's really it's really really interesting atmosphere. Next up, we got player soul asking or saying and asking. I wish it was Yoji on the couch rather than Crip at Exalcon. Um, you've been playing nine k hours and Crip quit well before you have even started playing. And there were a lot of people who were like, why is Crip even there? What 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 the hell? Why would you invite Crip? And uh, also, could we be lucky enough to uh, get a Yoji PoE 2 and 3.9 trailer? Uh, that one's actually out. So, uh, yeah, if you didn't get that notification, hit that bell button, smash that like button, you know, all that crazy stuff. But yeah, maybe YouTube is sometimes really stupid, so maybe actually, like, the notification bell might actually be useful at this point, because I get a lot of people asking for the freaking trailer, and I'm like, this is my most clicked videos, usually, and... Apparently, not even all my YouTube subscribers actually get the get the message about it, which seems to be really weird. So yeah, just just check my channel; it should be there, or like click the weird bell, and apparently that will like tell you when I actually make a new video. If you don't want to miss it, that would work. And yeah, what else is there? There is uh, Crip. Yeah, Crip did a lot of people a lot for Poe, and he got uh, he's a, he got really involved like early in the early development of Poe with like giving input to Chris, but he what Chris always talks about on like GDC talks and whatever and uh apparently they are like kind of like really really good bros and like really bonded over the soul like creating PoE experience and he was one of the biggest dreamers he really popularized the game and I also still feel PoE kind of like still has a place in Crip's heart yes Hearthstone is kind of like his his job basically his main game but that doesn't mean doesn't mean he doesn't like sometimes play PoE in his free time, or whatever. And he still knows quite a bit about the game, and also has a lot of reach. And at the end, this is a um, this is a PR decision for um, GGG to invite those people. And he is someone who's passionate about the game, who will most likely make a video with a lot of reach about a game that still a lot of people associate with him. And it makes perfect sense to invite him. And I I wasn't 
in the least surprised. Also, I can't really imagine that Chris just really wanted to meet Crip in person at some point, because I don't think they did who ever met. So maybe that also meant a lot to Chris. And, you know, I think it makes perfect sense. Same for Riker being there. He's kind of like a, uh, a, a RPG kind of news person, mainly focused around D3, but he's covered PoE news in the past, and it makes perfect sense for him to be there. Also, he's like kind of like a chill dude, it seems. I don't really see why wouldn't you... In he's like probably the best journalist you could invite to this like you, of, of all the people you could invite because he's kind of like still part of the community and yeah i think that made a lot of sense so i i definitely get why he was there for why i, I wasn't there even if gg invited me to um like new zealand and fly me out and whatever which i would be really surprised about with like the little content i currently co create for the game um even if they did ask me i probably wouldn't have had the time anyway and if I had the time, I would probably have set aside the money somehow and just made it there anyway. So it was more like a time constraint decision. I would have loved to be there, but I wouldn't have loved to fly there for like 20 something hours, um, which is currently time is like really, really hard to find for me personally. But I would have loved to like meet the meet the guys and like just chat with, with uh, some of the streamers that I haven't met and also re-meet with all the people that I uh, met at the Berlin meetup um, a few years ago, which like Rise and Ziz and Taki and... Uh, all, all the people that had been there. So that was really, really cool. But yeah, didn't happen. Bit sad about it, but not too much. And that crib was there. I was like perfectly fine with me. James Reed asks the most important, important questions in the history of this channel. Pineapple or no pineapple on pizza? And I know people have keep telling me that this is something you either love or you hate pineapple on pizza. But for me personally, while I'm not a huge fan of canned pineapples, which normally are the ones that end up on pizza, and also even of like fresh pineapple, I'm not the, the biggest fan, I don't mind pineapple on pizza, but I would never put it there myself. And if someone serves me a pineapple pizza, I would also be too lazy to, uh, to like pick them off, so I would just eat it as it is. So I would eat pineapple pizza, pizza if it's free and you serve it to me, but I wouldn't like go out of my way to get a pineapple pizza, if that makes sense. So I'm actually one of those very, very rare few people that are just right in the middle on the pineapple pizza debate. So I'm, I'm like, I'm like the, the, the centrist of the pineapple pizza war zone. All right, let's see. Are there any more questions? Looks like there are no more questions, so thank you very much for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah, take a look at the Fated Connections podcast below if you haven't already. If that is uh, already up, I'll, I'll link it down below. And I'll see you guys in 3.9 with more content and me playing mo some more meme builds, making some more meme videos, not as uh, as serious discussion, 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 I can't even say serious discussion content anymore. That's how meme I have become. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm Yoji. And I will see you guys soon. What was that?